Welcome to the Life on YouTube panel with some very special guests here. <laughs> Sky does Minecraft. Hi. Miss I has Cupcake. Hi. <laughs> Mr. Aunt Venom. And at the end, Captain Sparkles. So today we're going to keep it pretty casual and we're going to kind of be just talking about how it has been for them, growing their channels, uh, being on YouTube, what gave them the ideas, all of these different things. So we're going to get started and go as fast as we can because we have a pretty tough 40 minute limit here so we're going to just jump right in. So I guess we'll start down the line but if you guys want to go through first and give like a brief story of how you started your channel. Um. Okay, I guess, does that mean I gotta go first? <laughs> yeah, you can start. Go Sky. Um, so I originally started my channel, it's kind of an awkward way. I used to play um, a video game called RuneScape, believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> oh, there we go, we got some RuneScapers here. Um, I used to play a game called RuneScape, and Sky Does Minecraft was originally a spin-off. Like, um, I went by the name uh, Sky the Kid, um, hence the reason Sky the Kid RS is my username. Um, and it's really funny because one day I saw like uh, friends of mine like, uh, like Ant Venom and uh, Skitscape and uh, Caveman Films and everybody, they were all switching over to uh, this new game that everybody was playing called Minecraft. So um, I had a friend called Dartron and a friend called Ant who, um, right there, that guy, <laughs> um, this guy. Who, uh, who sent me this series called X's Adventures of Minecraft. I got hooked instantaneously after the first episode. And then after that, I decided to make my own little spinoff channel called Sky Does Minecraft. And then one thing led to another, and hi, how's it going? I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany. Um, so I used to play a game called World of Warcraft. I was really addicted to it. <laughs> and um, at the time, um, Machinima Realm was just starting out, and they asked if I would be interested in submitting videos and make some extra cash. So I was in college at the time, and I was like, sure, why not? I hate my job. Might as well do it. <laughs> so um, I started, I started off doing uh, World of Warcraft videos to Realm, and then they rolled up my channel, and then I put Minecraft on there. At first, I didn't want to play, because I thought I was going to get addicted to another game, which I did. <laughs> and then that led me here. So, yeah. Taylor? Yeah. Well, I'm going to keep my story pretty quickly, uh, <laughs> just because there's a lot of games uh, that I need to cover here. But I started making videos back in 2004, uh, well before the time of the YouTube days where, you know, we had to upload our videos to, like, FTP servers and whatnot. I started playing on a game called Tony Hawk's Underground. And I was just sort of like, <laughs> oh, a few fans out there. <laughs> And uh, I would just record, you know, myself playing it. I was a very, it was very hardcore into the game, and you know, we just recorded our perspectives. And then I eventually got into like sort of s regular skate style videos made within that game. Then the evolution moves on. You know, I was uh, started playing RuneScape, uh, mm -hmm. as some of you may have heard at this point. And uh, we made things called like RuneScape music videos. The editing got you know a little bit deeper, and we got very very experienced at it. And then uh, from that point on, you know, I we played other games. There was Line Rider that was in there as well. I hope I have any of you heard of that game, Line Rider? I'm, I'm really glad. And then from there, uh, I started playing a game called Minecraft. A friend of mine introduced me to the game. And uh, after my previous World of Warcraft addiction, I uh, didn't really want to get addicted to another game, but he convinced me that it was worth playing. And uh, I don't regret playing it for a single second because, I mean, who would have known that it would have led all of us here, all of our individual stories? Thanks, All right, Taylor. I guess it's me next. Jordan. <laughs> so... I started on YouTube about three and a half years ago. The first game that I played really intensely was Call of Duty. And <laughs> I guess a lot of people play that. It's kind of popular. So I started off with that. I had seen people who were recording their gameplay. They'd record narration over it, and then they'd upload it to YouTube. And I was good at the game, I think, so I decided that I would try it out myself. Looking back at my first videos, it's always really, really awkward because I just sound super tim timid and I just didn't really have good speaking ability at all whatsoever. So it's helped with my speaking ability doing the whole YouTube thing, I think. Um, and so over time, uh, I was playing Call of Duty, then I was introduced to, uh, to Minecraft. It was in the, the summer of 2010. I started playing it then. And 
Um, I uploaded like my first Minecraft video and instantly the audience was just extremely receptive of it. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is cool. I enjoy it. Apparently everyone else enjoys it a whole bunch as well. So I just stuck with it. And uh, sure enough, it evolved over time. I, I did some of the music videos and uh, lo and behold, here we are at the third Minecon. Pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> so Jordan kind of answered the next question a little bit in his about the fact that your, your first Minecraft video got so much reception that you thought this was great. What about for the three of you? Was there like a moment where you kind of went, ah, oh, I should, I should do, keep doing this, or something that happened kind of clicked? Um, it was actually, it's actually really funny. Like, my channel, I had been doing for like a good, uh, a good, I don't know, six months to a year before any kind of uh, boom happened. And um, it wasn't until like I started doing uh, modification showcases and just kind of really expressing myself a bit more in my, my commentaries like uh, that, that it uh, really took off. I was uh, usually really shy or kind of um, boring um, in my, my commentaries. And then finally, I just kind of like, you know what? I'm going to get a little bit more hyper in here. And um, <laughs> before I knew it, my mod showcases just kind of started like gaining views, gaining uh, popularity. And I was just kind of like, whoa, OK. <laughs> um, uh, let's, let's not stop doing this, and let's keep going. So um, from there, I started meeting a lot more people. I started moving more into uh, different video, uh, video game part aspects of it. I guess like mini games and, uh, and um, uh, adventure maps and uh, more stuff like that where I just kind of play with my friends and just kind of go wild. And um, from there, uh, it just kind of um, kept going. My phone's ringing. <laughs> Let me just Someone's saying, like, on. you look great on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Not now, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> kind of busy. Tiffany, what about you? I, I actually remember getting a message from Tiffany um, oh my on, on my channel, yes. like, real, uh, a really, really long time ago. Like, hey, let's make a video together. And yeah. I think at the time you had, like, 5,000 yeah. subscribers I or something, and now <laughs> over a million. And I'm like, oh, she's so, like, I feel proud to be Yeah, at the you beginning. were the, actually the first person I ever collaborated with. Yay. And um, <laughs> I showed you my carnival that I built. It was amazing. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, so for me, uh, playing the game, it was just something so different. I mean, it didn't necessarily take off on my channel. It didn't run away. Yeah. But um, I just had a bunch of fun with it. And then I, I got exposed to the community, you and then Sly Fox and then everyone else here. And it's just like friendships started to build. We would play games together. And it's just... It was, so, it was just a lot of fun for me, and I'm just really happy that my channel happens to be doing good, too, you know? <laughs> awesome. Taylor? Well, I knew, you know, from the very beginning, back in, like, 2004 and whatnot, that I really loved making videos. I mean, there wasn't ever any money in it, you know, but way back then, all the way up to, I'd say, 2011. But the thing, as far as Minecraft goes, that really got me, like, to thinking, like, hmm, maybe I should do this every day. And uh, I've told them this a couple of times before, but back in April of 2011, Notch retweeted one of my videos, actually, <laughs> just a direct retweet. It was of uh, my first video sh showcasing what the Farlands was all about. And uh, at the time, you know, I just kind of made it. And actually, it was kind of a fluke that it even happened because... Uh, at the time, I was going to school for computer tech training, and that day was a snow day. I literally could not get into school that day, because there were no real snow days, but unless you couldn't get in. And uh, so I just decided, you know, all right, I just, I sent it to him as a tweet. He retweets it, I think it's like 40,000 views, and I'm like, huh, maybe I should make a follow-up to this. And then after that, I'm like, huh, maybe I should do this every day. <laughs> and that's how that happened. That's awesome. I, okay, so it's getting weird now because they keep leading into my next question and we <laughs> haven't discussed what the questions are at all. So uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, what Taylor said about it being every day, I wanted you guys to kind of walk us through like what is a life in the glamorous life, day in the life of, a, <laughs> of making YouTube videos? It's a lot of sitting in front of your computer. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's 
what I do for most of the day, actually. A lot of it is while well, figuring out something I think that's going to be interesting. I have a couple long-standing series, so those are always a, a possible thing to, to record on a daily basis. Um, but then as far as the one-off content goes, there are mods to, to be shown, there are adventure maps to play, mini games, so on and so forth, and trying to pick things that are going to be interesting. Um, that's, I'd say that's what most of it is, is trying to figure it out, because the recording itself doesn't necessarily take quite as long as all the planning, and then obviously uh, the editing, so on and so forth, the upload. YouTube has issues a little <laughs> bit, um, so sometimes the uploads don't work on the first try, or it takes a little while of sitting there and really, really hoping that it goes through. Um, and that's a day in the life. Sometimes you get to go places like this, which is really cool, um, and that's not something I ever would have expected just from the beginning. So um, I'm truly appreciative to, to be able to do this, and uh, I wouldn't wish for, for anything else. Well, uh, it's you know pretty much the same story here, but uh, on a daily basis, I'll try and you know think to myself like, I mean, yes, there is the daily videos, but usually I'll try and plan for them at least a little bit ahead of time. Like Jordan, I do have some long-standing series, but you, what I like to do is I keep a text document open, and any time I think of you know just any random idea, whether it's good or bad, I'll write it down because I've ha I've heard a quote before saying you know like if you just erase the the any idea you might think be bad, it's not going to leave room for the good ideas. So I'm always trying to think of sort of unique stuff that I can do. As far as like how difficult it is to do videos every day. It's really not. A lot of that can be attributed to, you'll, you, I might record like four or five videos at once and then it gives you a little bit of break time to just sort of you know, be relaxed and have time to be creative sort of with your, with your thoughts. But otherwise, it's pretty much the same story that Jordan had. Tiffany, what yeah. about for you? Because you, you make some things too. Yeah, so I guess I you, you get to <laughs> kind of live outside the computer. I mean, I thought I have to put my, I, I did graduate with a degree, an art degree, and I was like, I have to still be creative. I can't let that go to waste or my parents would kill me. <laughs> so um, I still tr do try to bring in the creative aspect by doing baking. I do speed arts and uh, DIYs. Uh, for me, it's a lot a lot of work. It's, but the, the cool thing about it is that it doesn't feel like work because I love doing it. And it is, I, I don't get much sun now. Um, I do try to get out more often because I'm always in front of the computer thinking up ideas and it, it has like really taken over my life. But I really love doing it and creating content and making people happy. But it's a very long creative process, but it's, it's awesome. Cool. Mm -hmm. Day in the life of a YouTuber. <laughs> um, usually, yeah, it's kind of just sitting down. Um, <laughs> uh, only like 10% is, uh, is the recording part. The other part is like editing, putting together thumbnails, and um, making sure the video doesn't mess up from rendering and uploading and making sure you have OK enough internet to get it up on time. But. Um, uh, most of the time, yeah, it's just kind of, kind of sitting. <laughs> goofy goofy Skype it. calls too, and, and and very, very long Skype calls with friends. Oh man, still rendering. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. <laughs> awesome. So, for people wanting to start their channels, do you have a piece of advice that you think is the most important thing? Uh, mine would definitely be, like, stay yourself. I mean, I know it's cheesy, but like. If, if you're not yourself, then eventually down the line, I mean, it's, it's not going to feel as fun. So, I mean, like, it, as long as you're yourself, it really doesn't matter what kind of recording software you have. I mean, it's, it's good to have a good recording software, but um, like, like DxTory or Fraps or something. But um, just stay yourself and just have fun doing it, and that's, that's my best advice I can, I can give you. I would say, yeah, stay yourself, but also love what you're doing. And you remember, you got to have fun with it. And you got to have passion for it. And not just, you know, be in it for alternative motives. You really just got to love what you do. 
I mean, I think by the time we get to the end here, everything's <laughs> going to have been said. But uh, <laughs> it's Sorry, pretty much, it pretty much runs along the lines of, yeah, really enjoying what you do. Um, one video that I could cite very specifically that is a good example if you need, you know, inspirational, real advice is uh, Steve Jobs' uh, Stanford 2005 commencement speech. Everything that he said in that is absolutely the truth. And uh, if you need any sort of advice... I would highly recommend checking that out because he's not kidding when, he's, when you say you have to absolutely love what you do in order to do it. If you don't love it, you're either going to go insane doing it or you're just going to stop completely. Well, on top of all that, I would, <laughs> I would say um, you need to provide some sort of innovation if you're starting at this point. Um, you need to, if you're doing like a Let's Play of Minecraft, try to find some sort of additional thing you can do on top of the standard survival Let's Play that will put your content over the edge. If you're like a comedian, make sure you're being a comedian. And um, <laughs> if you're really good at, at editing, make sure you're, you're doing some stuff to sort of increase that production value. Um, you could do music videos. That's a good example of something that people really, really like to see because it takes a lot more effort and it shows through when you have something that's animated that has a, a music track in the background. So try to, try to find something, again, that just sets you one step above the competition and then uh, go with that. Awesome. Yeah, one thing I think is important to note is that if you kind of listen to what they all said. They've been working for a long time on these channels. It's not like one day they woke up and said, oh, yes, this is awesome. I hit a million subscribers. <laughs> um, so I think <laughs> there's a lot of hard work. I know the that four That was of actually them. definitely an active thought. I knew that there was no specific video that was going to do it. It was going to be the consistency thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> definitely. So how do your friends and family react to the idea of like, oh, what, what do you do when it comes up at parties and conversations? Uh, I, I remember trying to explain this myself. How, how, do you, how does it go for you guys? Jordan, you want to start? Sure. Um, so like a year and a half ago, I was uh, coming back from Canada to the US and I was going through customs and they're like, so uh, what, what are you, or no, I was going from the US to Canada and they say, so what are you visiting Canada for? Um, what do you do? I said, I make videos on the internet. <laughs> and the guy just looks so unamused. At the <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't know what else to tell you, man. You probably, I don't know. I don't know what he thought. Um, but it's very difficult to, uh, to explain it to family, especially older family members, um, which is one of the reasons it's really cool to see so many parents in the crowd because your support in this area is, is amazing, and it was awesome to have the support from, from my mom and my, my family as a whole um, in, in doing this thing, and I don't think if they were backing me so strongly, I'd have been so enthusiastic about it, because you always want to have that parental approval um, on things, so. Well, I would say when my dad bought me that first CAPTCHA card back in 2004, it was pretty safe to say that he supported the sort of things that I was doing. And uh, all the way through, you know, to where I am today, my family has been very supportive. Uh, my mom, I could, I could tell, was very nervous about what I was getting into when the whole YouTube thing was, get, you know, starting to build up. And I decided, you know, uh, just, uh, just almost just over two years ago that I decided I want to do it full time and I wanted to quit the computer tech job that I had only been at for five days after I spent three months in computer training. It's needless to say, <laughs> she was just a little bit nervous, but it all wound up working out. And I mean, I couldn't have asked for a more supportive parents throughout just this entire experience. My parents were also very supportive. Um, I, I remember the day I went home and told them, I'm quitting my job to do this full time. It was the look on their faces were like, OK. So they actually bought me. When I graduated, they got me a gaming computer for a gift, because that's what I wanted, <laughs> like a legitimate computer to edit on. Um, but I kind of got this from you. Uh, web show producer is now what I use when people ask what I do. It's a new media web show producer. <laughs> Sounds so fancy. Um, but I don't go into the details unless they ask, because once I bring in YouTube, they're like, oh, how does that work? <laughs> Just like. 
I don't even want to explain. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I think I want to pursue this YouTube thing. Oh, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what happened. Um, lo and behold, I'm, uh, I'm here now. And whenever anybody asks me what I do, I've, I've pretty much got it down. Oh, yeah, I do uh, video content on the internet, kind of like pre-recorded radio. Got it. <laughs> got it. It's good stuff. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much what happened. Nice. Um, so for you guys, how, how does it feel with criticism? How do you kind of deal with it? Because I remember starting and... Uh, you, you grow with thicker skin, but there are times where it's like you're, you're trying to please everyone. Um, it's wonderful to get great comments, but it can be uh, some of the worst things I ever read. Actually, the worst things I've ever read were on my YouTube channel. So how do you guys deal with that type of uh, immediacy of <laughs> opinions? Anyone can start? Oh, starting off? <laughs> Seems okay. like we're starting at the end here. <laughs> so at the beginning, I sometimes let it get me down a little bit. It's difficult not to. But over time, as Lydia said, you do grow a thicker skin. You get used to it. You realize that the people who are angry are very vocal, but they're a very huge minority. Most of the people who enjoy your stuff, they don't say anything. They just sort of sit back and watch. And that's what they do. So you have to remember that even though there is someone saying this whole spew of negativity, there is a hundred, whatever, a hundred thousand times more people out there who are just enjoying your content silently. And don't let it get to you. I, I know I can't please everyone, um, so, but I know I'm, I'm doing my best and that's all I can do. Yeah. So try to think about the positive. <laughs> I mean, as far as the negativity goes, I'm definitely willing to take positive feedback. I mean, if someone is just like, this video is terrible. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's nothing that I can really do with that sort of a comment, you know, or any of the worst comments that can be left on videos. But um, I, I, I definitely try to, you know, stay true to the sort of stuff that I want to make. I mean, if I'm ever looking for advice from the community, I definitely ask for it, you know. But uh, as long as I'm making the content that I want to make and I feel like what I'm doing is right for me, then, I mean, whatever to what, uh, to what anyone else has to say that's negative, you know? As long as I'm enjoying what I'm doing and there's a lot of people enjoying what I'm doing, then the negative just sort of drowns itself out. And I can definitely say, in the beginning, it was a bit more difficult to deal with. That's, I think that's gonna be natural with anyone who starts with YouTube, you know? But you just have to kind of be able to push that to the side and take the constructive feedback because you can get negative feedback, but at the same time, it's constructive and allows you to push forward, you know, as a YouTuber or even with anything in general. Yeah, so definitely the comments in the beginning did get to me. I mean, you're putting you know, your heart and soul into this project, and people say negative things. But I'm, I'm always open to constructive criticism, but there, you have to recognize the difference between constructive criticism and someone just being really rude. Um, I did have support from my husband who kind of, I would really get upset in the beginning, like really upset. And he would uh, kind of you know, talk me through and just you know, bring my spirits back up. So definitely some support around you will definitely help with that. But you just got to, the way I, rem I think of it is the people who say these really mean things are unhappy with themselves. So to me, I feel bad for them in a way, you know, because I mean, that's just how I get through it. I don't know how you guys get through it. That's what I say to myself. But um, it's definitely you have to, you're going to get them. You're putting yourself on the internet. You're going to get the negative comments. They're going to, you know, bring out all your insecurities. They're going to bring more insecurities. Um, but it's just something that you have to work through, and you'll, you're, you're not going to be immune to it, but you definitely will grow a thicker skin. Yeah. What about I'll for let, you? I let my haters be my motivators. <laughs> haters be my motivators. No. But, um, <laughs> yeah, like, when you first start out, you're going to get a lot of, a lot of haters, and it's, it's kind of, it's, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. It's, it's the Internet. Um, but uh, as you go along, you start to see that there's more positive people than there are negative people. And you start to just kind of um, just listen to only the, the people who, who are positive. And, you know, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to suck when you get uh, haters. It's, it's haters. I mean, 
Like you never, you never want to make people angry. You never want people to be angry at you. It's a bum feeling. But um, I mean, I guess it's just over time. You just kind of get used to it. Yeah. And um, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think what, <laughs> what, what uh, Taylor and Tiffany said too is really important. Being able to figure out which criticism you should actually take because mm -hmm. when someone is a big fan of yours mm -hmm. and they write something like, hey, this video didn't seem like you, you know, whatever, fill in the blank, it, it's good to actually take that yeah. advice versus only being concerned with people who are saying like, I hate this, mm -hmm. that you can't really do right, much definitely. about it. Um, so I'm gonna ask you guys one more question, which is probably gonna be kind of hard. What is your favorite thing that you've made or the thing that you're most proud of? Um, I'm gonna start with Taylor <laughs> because right. you haven't Putting me on the spot first. here. I think, I think I'm actually ready for this okay, one though. So you okay. didn't actually catch me off guard here, but I mean, I can't really cite any one specific example. The only things that I can really cite are things that have pushed the envelope. You know, things that I've either that personally challenged me in some way, you know, uh, whether it be anything that I've done on my piece of map or the music video that I've done, uh, which there's a lot of people that I, can, that I couldn't thank all at once for that. But uh, just anything that pushes the, the medium further is any, is any, you know, pretty much the stuff that's made me the most proud. Awesome. Jordan? Well, it's definitely one of the music videos I've done. <laughs> and each one has sort of progressively taken more and more effort. And I'd probably be the most satisfied with how the last one, Take Back the Night, turned out. So obviously, while I don't want to favor content, <laughs> I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany? Um, for me, it's definitely one that was on the creative side. Like, I, I can't choose one. You know, it's like your children. You can't choose favorites. You gotta love all of them. Even if there's a thousand of them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have, you know, the, a favorite. The more... Yeah, the creative ones, okay, definitely. Awesome. Adam? Being a more commentary based channel, this, uh, this question is kind of. Yeah, it's not um, it's quite as easy. I probably have to go with, like, is it okay to say three? Yeah. Like, I, would definitely, <laughs> sure. I would definitely put my top favorite one with uh, what it would be the new parody I just released while I was at MyCon. Woo! Woo! Um, <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one was uh, definitely, definitely my favorite one, just because Steven and Pedro and they all did such a great job. And if you guys are watching, <laughs> um, but uh, if we're talking like my favorite commentaries I've done, like I think it would have to be my first Cops and Robbers ever because it was so groundbreaking. Um, that, uh, that there was literally a game where we could just like make up our own scenarios, and that was so much fun. <laughs> and so I would have to probably say either Cops and Robbers 1 or one of my first mod showcases, which was the mutant zombie one. Awesome. So. Okay, so we have just about 15 minutes left, and we're going to take some questions. Don't all jump up at once. I'm not even sure. Okay. Here's how this is going to work. We are, you can line up at the microphone there, or at the microphone there. Please don't run. I know you want your question answered, but be careful, don't run. I don't want anyone hurt. But We're definitely uh, gonna have okay, to go it, rapid yeah, fire it, uh, on this one. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I mean, after 10, we could probably cut it off because there's no, yeah, casualties, there's no way. Seven minutes. If you haven't made it up yet, don't don't keep walking. It's it's too late because <laughs> um, we only have a few minutes. Here's how we're doing this: rapid fire questions. Ask a question very quickly, as fast as you can, and they will try to answer as fast as they can, so we can get through as many as we can. Go. Um, I was wondering if you could sign this. <laughs> no <laughs> signing. Uh, that was the one rule I forgot. No signing questions. Do you have another question? Uh, Sky, did, did your fans really hold you hostage in room 208 yesterday? What? I couldn't did hear you. <laughs> did your fans hold you hostage in room 208 yesterday? Did your fans hold you hostage? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I can't say that it wasn't, you know, flattering, though. <laughs> right, thank you. Okay, over here. Where did the name Skyvacatorus and Ayas Cupquake come from? Because I know Jordan and... 
Sky, Sky the Kid RS came from uh, RuneScape. I used to be called Sky the Kid when I used to do little comedy skits. And then when I switched over, Sky Does Minecraft was originally supposed to be a spinoff, so I named myself Sky the Kid RS to like old mem memorable stuff. How'd you come up with Sky though? Like Sky the Kid. Laying <laughs> <laughs> down up with one that day. One. So about that, I used to actually be called uh, uh, Jim the Kid, and then um, and then one day my sister really wanted to start RuneScape, so I made her account called Sky the Kid, and then long story short, I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, what about you? Um, my IS Cupcake came from me really loving to bake. Um, and at the time when I was trying to create a cool name, um, the Lolcats was like really big on the internet. So the I Can Has Cheeseburger is where it came from. <laughs> nice, over here. What was your favorite Minecraft parody that you haven't made? Oh, for me? Um, I guess if we're going with the parody videos, Let's see. I think that <sighs> rapid fire. This is difficult. <laughs> this is difficult. I think that Minecraft style is pretty cool because it was a really like really one-to-one -one Minecraft replication of what was going on in the uh, in the Gangnam Style video. So. I can, it's so difficult to pick yeah, up. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. For green. Green. Thanks for agreeing. Over here. <laughs> how long uh, do you spend on YouTube, and how long should I spend on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> I live on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, about like four or five hours a day, getting everything pretty much set up for the next day. I think as long as your other priorities are in check and you've got everything done that you need to get done, then... Yeah, definitely. The, School comes put, first. Put, put everything <laughs> first and then YouTube, uh, it's, a, it's a good hobby aside of everything else. Awesome, thank you. Over here. Um, this one is directed to Sky. Where are all your mod reviews? Oh, I knew that was gonna come up. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I have no excuse. Um, I just, I haven't, I haven't, just I haven't had like time, but um, I plan on doing a lot more throughout uh, throughout the next couple months. So uh, look forward to that, I guess. Like. <laughs> awesome. Over here. What's your uh, least favorite series? <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Who, who's that for? I'm curious. I know. I'm like, uh, all of you. None of them. <laughs> they wouldn't be on my channel if I didn't like it. <laughs> I like that answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. This, this group, is true. group consensus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Over here. Where's Red and Rachel? Red. 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 Cool. Thanks for being awesome. <laughs> yes? Um, this question is mostly uh, aimed towards Jordan, but the rest of you can answer. It's uh, based off one of the videos he posted. Are you a brony? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I've, I've never actually uh, watched an episode of My Little Pony. I just... Is there a I term for someone who hasn't been exposed yet? <laughs> That's kind of depressing. <laughs> Jordan, bro hoof. <laughs> for anyone that doesn't know, Brony is a guy who likes My Little Pony. Yeah. <laughs> Over here. Right, this is a question more directed to Sky. Um, how, how do you come by like the people who you do your videos with? Like Sunday and how do I come across them? Yeah. Um, honestly, most of them I've known for like a really, really long time. Like uh, Jason and, and uh, Deadlocks, I've been filming with, well, I guess Jason and Ty. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, uh, I've known them for like a couple years. And like, like uh, Ant right here, I do videos with him all the time. Like I've known him for like almost, almost five years now. <laughs> Yeah. Since, since the RuneScape days. Yeah, so like a lot of them are, are people that I've known for a very, very long time. And uh, we've met through like random things, so, ran, really random encounters. Secret most of the story, time. I actually met Sky because he decided to message me one day in a joking and very playful way, making fun of one of the RuneScape videos that I actually did. Oh, yeah, that, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> no, no, it was, it was totally, totally, totally good. good. <laughs> it was totally good. Just... That's <laughs> awesome. Over here? If you could change one thing in Minecraft, what would you change? That's good. Ooh. That's a good question. Or like add something. Change anyone? I just got thing. asked this question yesterday, and then I 
I think. <laughs> it lo looks like even the audience. <laughs> okay. My, I couldn't say anything to really change. It's gotten progressively better as the years have gone on. What I would like to see is a fully functioning mod API. It may not be a change, but just to add yeah, on, that cool. would be. I, th I think that's next. I think a friends list could be good. A friends list. A friends yeah. list. Yeah. Yeah. I want whales. <laughs> <laughs> so do I, actually. <laughs> OK, over to you. So I have a friend with Crohn's disease, and she was ready to give up. But then she found you, Cupquake, and all of you guys. Okay. And um, your like, just cheerfulness and your videos helped her be through it. And she just wants to thank you guys. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> thank, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Cool. Okay, over here. What would you say was the series that got the most viewers, likes, whatever you think would factor in a in the good side? Um, cops and robbers. Oasis. Um. Uh, like the second survival series, modded survival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as far as the most views, I, I, I'm not really sure as far as the most views, but the most impactful, I would say, was Hunt for the Golden Apple. Did you ever find the apple? Funny story about that, real quick. <laughs> I've never found one in the series itself, but three on three separate occasions, I found one while not recording. And, even, <laughs> and one of those times, I thought to myself, should I start recording? Nah. Golden Apple. <laughs> <laughs> OK, over to you. Um, how long did it take for you guys to get your channel started and going big? Sky is Minecraft? Mm, two years? Two, two and a half years. Um, and then, like, my other channels and everything, probably a total of, like, five years. For me, it's been three, about three years. What was the, exactly the question again? I think how long it's How long have we been doing it? Yeah. Uh, my first okay. YouTube channel was in April of 2006. Ant Venom was October of 2008. And I've been making videos since mid-2004, <laughs> so it's... Anti-Venom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, that, that one's not even the oldest, not even close. <laughs> My first video was in uh, February of 2010. So it's been about awesome. three and a half years. Thank you. Where do you guys hide at Minecon when you're not signing? <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to sign as much stuff as possible. So, um, but otherwise, when we're like prepping for things, I've been in the panelist room a little bit and other than that, just, yeah, getting prepped. Well, if we're not signing things, usually people are trying to stop us. So, I mean, if we have to be directed from one place to another, there's, been, you know, the awesome Minecon agents who have been helping us out yeah. with that. Um, I mean, I'm trying to interact with as many people as I can, so I, I don't know exactly how to answer the question, but it's you know, just trying to be as active as I can with everyone that's here. Yeah. yeah. I won't tell you my secret. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, know this, I know the secret, too. I, I, won't, I won't say. Yeah, it's my secret. Uh, um, <laughs> okay, over to you. Um, this question is more directed towards Sky. Um, what do you have to say? Like, I'm an example of one. You've inspired so many YouTubers. Like, what do you have to say for, to, uh, to them? I, I honestly, I don't have words for that. Like, when, when I get people telling me that kind of thing, it, it just, it's so so humbling that I, I all I can say is thank you because I wouldn't be where I am today without you guys. Awesome. Okay, we're we're getting close to running out of time, so as quick as you possibly can, go. Okay. Um, besides today being on the panel, what's the best opportunity you guys have had since doing YouTube videos? Let's see. I'm trying to recount things that I've done. Um, Getting to meet just various people here and there who have incredible amounts of talent is super rewarding. Um, like all the people who I've worked on the music videos with. As far as just a concrete thing that I've done, I did a, a road trip like a year and a half back that was super fun driving from uh, 
San Diego up to Seattle and then flying into Vancouver. Um, getting to do that just because of YouTube is, is pretty darn cool. So I'll go with that, I guess. It's awesome. Is it OK if we? OK, we're going to do one person answering each one. Go ahead. Um, this is to Sky and Captain Sparkles. Is there a subscriber war between you since you guys are so oh, close? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, wow. that's why we had to no, sit no, them no. at There's opposite so ends of the table. No, no not really. We're, I'm, I'm actually good friends with Jordan. I, I, at least I like, like to think so. Do you hate should me? We, should we, hug? <laughs> we, should, we should do it out. Oh, okay, Brian. yeah. Oh, okay. There's no war. There's no war. No war. You saw it here first. They are friends. Yes. yes. <laughs> what? Okay, Thank go you. ahead. Um, uh, I have two questions. Is that okay? No, just one. Oh, okay. Sky, where did the whole the butter and squid thing come from? <laughs> I honestly, I I don't know. <laughs> like it oh, just wait. kind of it kind of happened. Like the these squids kind of came out of nowhere for me personally. Um, and uh, with the butter thing, that was just kind of love at first sight. <laughs> awesome. Over to you. Sky, what's your favorite playlist on your YouTube channel? My favorite playlist would probably be Cops and Robbers because, I know I say Cops and Robbers a lot, but um, because I've, I got to play with so many people, I got to meet so many people throughout that entire series, um, and we got to do so much zany stuff that I, I think it's, it's like one that I like to go through occasionally just because it's got like my fondest memories in one playlist. Awesome. Okay, really quick, we are going to take one, two, three, go. How did Ant Venom get his name? <laughs> funny story, actually. All right, uh, since we have to wrap it up here pretty quickly. <laughs> the funny um, short story. Previously, when I was signing up for a name on some game that I can't really remember, I think it was Battlefield 2, I signed up the name Anti Venom, but the I was a 1, and then it was like Anti Venom. Yeah, so it was just that. And then I started using that name in RuneScape, and then when I went to go sign up for an Xbox Live account that was taken, and I remembered that people had commonly, or not commonly, but at least every now and then, people thought the one was like a slash or like a pipe or something, thinking it was splitting the words Ant and Venom. So I signed up the words, I signed up Ant Venom as my Xbox Live account. And then Anti Venom as a channel, which I had owned, was actually suspended for a really stupid <laughs> reason. So I signed up Ant Venom because that's where I wanted to post my accounts instead of the account that I was on, you know, for, for a while. I just didn't, I didn't like the name of it and I wanted something more memorable. So awesome. that's how the name Ant Venom came to be a thing. There you go. Okay. Two more questions. <laughs> go Cup Quake. Um, would you ever consider making a Minecraft parody, like say Captain Sparkles or Sky does? What was it? Would you consider making a parody, like um, a parody, like Jordan or Sky? I would. I would consider. I don't know how to do any of that though, <laughs> so it would take a lot of if you ever a lot of time out, to learn should. the programs and everything. We'll help you. <laughs> it's I would a lot love of work. To do it. Just ask us. We're here yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, and last question of the day. Okay. For the record, big fans of all of you. Um, uh, what's the worst thing you've done on YouTube, and how have you recovered from it? <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. ending it on uh, oh, a very difficult <laughs> question. Who wants to answer this one? Pass. Pass. <laughs> Pass, but I might come back to it. Good luck, Jordan. I don't know if it's the worst thing I've done, but the worst thing that's happened was when Sony and Universal didn't like Minecraft style. So, yeah, Boo. probably that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, thanks, man. And very quickly, I mean, there isn't had, you know, the sorts of stuff that goes on on my channel is the sort of stuff I want to post. So I, there's always a thinking process before anything I put up. Um, I mean, I guess the worst thing would be my how real men play Minecraft videos because sometimes people get very, very annoyed at the voices. That's <laughs> maybe the worst thing, but that, even that isn't bad at all. Awesome. Uh, are you going I got, back? I got one. Okay, go. I got one. It would probably be my happy Easter video because everybody was expecting a great Easter video and all I did was throw an egg at the wall. <laughs> okay, would you please give them a huge round of applause? I think, um, I think, I think Jordan's off to his meet and greet. That's it. Or, or down, I think they're going downstairs to the information booth. Area some somewhere, yeah. something like that. So we're not signing up here as to not c 
create chaos because we have to clear this room. Sorry. So don't run. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you all Thank enjoy. You.